Diplomats are about coming up with words that allow you to talk about an issue from a place of comfort so that very uncomfortable things like two nations who have been at war can actually talk about a way towards peace. And so we come up with euphemisms. We come up with processes. We come up with acronyms. We come up with all of these ways to be able to deal with something without actually talking about it. But on this issue, when people ask why does the United States issue a report every year on what countries are doing, even our allies, even our friends, what countries are doing to combat trafficking in persons, to combat modern slavery. When people ask, why do we have an office? Why is this something that we should care about as a country? Doesn't this get in the way of our strategic relationships? Or even, isn't this just kind of rude to use those words like rape and slavery? Let's call it gender-based violence. Let's call it trafficking in persons. Let's call it things that aren't as, to use the technical legal term, icky. <laughs> but the problem is, and this is I think the thing that I learned as a, as a, a prosecutor is, some of these things have names for a reason, and some of these names are icky because the thing is horrible. And we have to deal with that. And we have to confront it. Prevention, protection, and prosecution. There were international agreements going back to 1904 where the only thing that the countries of the world could agree upon was prevention. And the big radical thing that we all agreed on back then was that there should be posters and other things in shipping and railroad depots so that women often back then from Eastern Europe coming to the United States would know the risks of migration. And then 96 years went by and people continue to get enslaved. And there's another checkbox, and that's in law enforcement. We did X number of Man Act cases last year. Didn't ask what the situation of the women was. You know, I remember fairly vividly, because these are the kind of things you remember, I remember getting taped up with a very different microphone inside of a leg brace so that if there was any frisking going on, uh, it, it wouldn't be noticed and going undercover into a brothel with my code word to say so that the guys that I was working with would know to come in once I'd gotten the evidence. Making the transaction, saying the thing, looking over, seeing the knife between the bed and the wall about six inches from my kidney. And at the end of the night, us thinking, you know what, this is good. We've, we've took down this prostitution operation. And a couple of women went to jail for a little bit. We were able to seize the house, ended up bulldozing it as a public nuisance. And we moved on thinking that we had done a good thing. I moved on relieved because that knife had never been taken out. None of us even thought to ask what was going on with those women's lives. They were defendants. So we checked the box, and we were done. So this three-pay paradigm basically says it's not enough to just be able to check the box. Prosecutors and cops have to be thinking about victim protection. The immigrant rights groups, the advocates, etc., have to be thinking about prosecution. Everybody has to be thinking about prevention. A poster that is there too late is not only a waste of time and money, it's not going to direct that person to the linkages with the service providers, the linkages with the protective services, the linkages with the police and prosecutors who can and do want to help them. So it's not just, how can I be a lawyer? Can I be a prosecutor? Can I be a victim advocate? Can I take my career and my path into this new framework of international and domestic law? It's also, how can I live my life? making the cultural change, making the choice 
that the people who left here and walked south 150 years made to form a more perfect union. This is our responsibility. This is a responsibility that we need to embrace, not just because it's the law, not just because it's cutting edge, not just because it's a hot topic. It's because as Americans, this is who we are. Fighting slavery is what we do. Thank you.